Hey Libra, what's up? I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to your general love reading for mid-December 2021. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like. Or you can also book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, let's see. Libra, what is the overall energy for you for mid-December to the end of December? All right, I haven't seen this card in a while, actually. It's the fifth dimension. All right, so it could feel like, you know, maybe not much is manifesting in the 3D at the moment, and it, it could be that there's just a lot of mental energy or just when I say mental, I, I mean like you feeling it spiritually, right? Like through meditation or just really picking up on the other person's um, energy. Well, let's see. Let's get into this. Either way, it's definitely a very spiritual connection. All right, for to have this card come out. So, yeah, Libra. And here is Manix. He wants to help us do this reading. <laughs> right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, second half of December. All right. So starting out, we have the Ten of Cups. All right. Yeah, see, a lot of love here. Um, definitely a lot of love between you and another person, and it's crossed by the Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay. <laughs> a lot of love, a lot of um, wishing for, to have this happiness, to have this fulfillment. Um, I feel like you both feel like this would be, you know, like a dream or a wish come true, basically. Um, but the challenge is to actually bring bring that Ten of Cups into reality, right? Like this genie <laughs> making it happen. <clears throat> All right, let's see for your energy moving from past to present to future. We have the High Priestess, the five, of, the so Seven of Swords. <clears throat> And the Seven of Wands. I know Mannix is standing like right there. He's creating shade. <laughs> I wish you guys could see his face, but show your face, Mannix. <laughs> All right. For the other person here, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Fool and the Potential Outcome. We have the Knight of Wands. All right. So action. Is this where you're going to sit now? Are you going to help us do this reading or are you just going to sit there and stare at the cards? He's literally just staring at the cards. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so Libra. Definitely with you having this high priestess in your recent past, I feel like, yes, you know, you, you feel the spiritual connection with this person. You've been feeling it. Um, I feel like you may have gotten some intuitive messages concerning this person, um, possibly even having had some dreams where you feel like you were picking up on their energy or that they were sending you a message. Something along those lines, all right? I feel like you were just really intuitively picking up on, on the energy of this connection or of this person. Um, currently, I feel like there's something, though, that you're, you're kind of walking away from this. So we'll see when we clarify. And I see you still kind of having your guard up a little bit um, in the near future. For them, they had a sense of feeling abandoned, feeling like they were at a loss in the recent past. So I do feel like there was, you may have been in some kind of a separation because here's you kind of picking up on them intuitively, which is telling me there was probably not much contact. They're in the Five of Pentacles, feeling a sense of loss. Currently, though, this person is in the Two of Cups, so they're definitely feeling this connection, feeling that love. Um, so yeah, we'll see what the issue is then. Um, <clears throat> and I see them taking a leap of faith here, coming up, whereas you're a little bit guarded. So yeah, let's get into this, let's clarify. So let's see the Ten of Cups with the Nine of Cups. For the situation. And we have the Ace of Wands, 
the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, okay, just for some of you, there might be another person involved here, which could be serving as a barrier, but I don't feel like that is the main message that's going to come through in this reading, or at least even if that's the case, um, this isn't this reading isn't really going to focus on that, okay? It's just that it's showing up here that that could be a part of it. There's definitely a lot of passion even at the moment, but what I'm getting is that something still needs to be um, organized or figured out, and especially as it pertains to somebody's sense of self-worth. I feel like that that is the root of whatever else is happening, keeping this connection from actually um, fully coming together or whatever the issue is. Because maybe you are together. It could be. For some of you, you currently could be. Or you currently could be in some kind of contact or communication. And for others of you not, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it almost feels like there's somebody here trying to um, make something happen. But then the result just isn't coming just yet. That's what I'm getting. Like the result just isn't visible yet, is what I'm trying to say. Because I do see things working out here. I see you being a little bit on the defensive side, but I do see things ultimately um, coming together. At least from this person's end. Let's see, let's see that High Priestess for your recent past. We have Justice, let me get one more. The Eight of Pentacles. What is happening here with you, Libra? Well, that's your energy showing up here. Yeah, I feel like you were just really in tune with your own self. Um, I feel like you were really, f possibly even doing a lot of spiritual work, maybe even just a lot of meditation, like whatever, whatever it is that you were focusing on in the recent past, it was really enhancing your intuition. And, and I feel like it was really getting you on the right path. So I don't know what that's about. And in some way it could relate to this person. Let's see the Five of Pentacles for their energy in the recent past. The Page of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Swords. person was in a lot of pain. Again, it's like they felt left out. I don't know what happened here. I don't know if if they initiated a separation, if you initiated a separation, maybe there wasn't even really a, a separation, but there was just like not much contact because that's what it's feeling like. And it feels like this person recently has really felt their emotions, maybe even felt apologetic, maybe guilty about something. And whatever that is, it's, it, it created a lot of pain for them but I also get the sense that they were avoiding doing anything about it here with the Six of Swords. I feel like they were keeping some kind of a distance here. It's almost coming in as this person actually even trying to, to get over you. Apparently they did not, right? Because we have the Two of Cups in the, in the recent, in the um, current energy. But let's see, yeah, let's see this Two of Cups. Let's see their energy first. So let's see the Two of Cups for them. The Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Ooh, okay, this person is still in pain. Yeah, they're definitely feeling the love. They tried to get over you, they could not. Um, so they're back to feeling this, wanting this connection with you, but they're feeling like it's done. They still feel like it's over. 
And that could be because you're in the Seven of Swords energy walking away from this. And so it's like they're they're kind of waiting. They're waiting, but they're not feeling very hopeful that this can actually um, come to be. It's almost like they, they have this sense of, you know what, like we just, we either don't match, we're not compatible, even though I do still want it, I would still want to give it a, a try, um, or they, they feel like you're just not a, you're not going to agree to it. And so they're holding back from making a move. They, they're they really feeling like this is done. But they're feeling like it's done from your end. So let's see the Seven of Swords for you. The Hanged Man. The Page of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't really tell what this was. Yeah, so here's the thing. You're, you're walking away from this on the surface, but you're looking back at it. Because I feel like with the Hanged Man, you're not really walking away. You're not really walking away. Um, it's like you have that tendency, even with that Knight of Swords. Like you want to just quickly like do something, um, but you're also like holding back from that. Hmm. I don't know why um, you would know, but I see you kind of just yeah, just kind of walking away, but looking back at it, basically. Let's see what is coming up. Let's see the Seven of Wands for you. All right, the Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the King of Wands. Yeah, okay. You're trying to hold on to your own sense of self, your own sense of self-respect, self-integrity. It could be that you have a fear of, of impulsively getting yourself involved again in this. And so I see you having your guard up. You're like, no, I'm not going to rush into anything. I'm not going to rush into anything. I'm just going to, you know, do me, be independent, keep my independence. I feel like you have found like a sense of of detachment or of independence from this connection and you don't want to make any impulsive um, actions. It's like this is a way of you to maintain control over your own self. That's the energy I see you moving towards. Let's see the fool for them because I see them. I see them taking an impulsive <laughs> action towards you. And you're just like, nope, no impulsiveness. Let's see. The Queen of Wands. The Sun. The Five of Wands and the Six of Cups. Yeah, this person's coming back. Um, this person's making a move. They're taking some kind of an, an initiative towards you. And I feel like they're pretty assertive about it. Um, they're assertive and certain about it. They are, con <laughs> they are conflicted about it, though, at the same time. Like, they do have some kind of, um, like, just... I'm not going to say that they're not sure because I feel like they're very assertive, all right, about this and they're just like doing it, but there is that like hesitancy, like should I do it, should I not do it, but then they do it. Um, so I don't know what kind of step that's going to be, but it's definitely, um, it's going to feel pretty impulsive. So yeah, you're kind of meeting them with your guard up though. See the Knight of Wands for the potential outcome. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. The, we have the Devil, the Nine of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so it feels like there's some fear here. There's some fear. I feel like this is just basically you um, having your guard up, not wanting to do something impulsive. I mean, to be honest, I don't, I don't know with um, this person, you know, if it's going to be exactly what you want it to be. So I can't just tell you, yeah, you know, um, go for it. That totally has to be your decision. Um, but what I am getting here is that I kind of agree with you to not do anything impulsive, right? Because being impulsive might, might lead to a little bit of, um, confusion or pain or, or it, even if it's just your own doubts, right? Your own fears. Cause I feel like it's mostly your own fears surrounding this. So again, I would say, um, that the message here is to not act impulsively because if you're holding on to those fears, it could sabotage the energy here and create confusion and pain. So yeah, follow, follow your intuition basically. You don't want it to be impulsive, don't do it impulsive. It's that simple. Take your time, no need to rush. All right, Libra, let's see if this resonated. Your final message. We have like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. Not to say that you're not loving, <laughs> but yeah, just take this message however it resonates for you, all right? And please do give me a thumbs up if it did resonate. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Much love.